Now let's see what we can do about this vent on the hood. I'll go ahead and change the name of this, call it hood. And before we do anything, I'm gonna duplicate this. With this selected, let's press Shift D and then Enter. And that's created a duplicate called hood 001. Let's change the name of this one and I'm gonna call this smoothing mesh. And this is gonna be like a helper object that's gonna help us smooth out any imperfections and artifacts that we might get when we are adding edge loops to create this vent in the hood. So with this created, I'm just gonna go ahead and hide it by clicking on the icon here, and that will hide it in the 3D view. Now we have our hood object here. Let's begin working on this vent now. So I'm gonna hit the period key on the number pad to zoom in to the hood, and now I tumble around this object. I'll change my viewport shading back to studio. Let's go to the top view and I'll hit the tab key. And I'll also press Alt Z to go to X-ray. Now we need to rearrange the geometry of this so that we can extrude this up. So what I'm gonna do is just basically take uh, these points here and let's just slide them down a bit in line with the drawing. If I just grabbed the y-axis and dragged it like this, it would look okay here, but if we tumbled around, went to the side view, you can see it's pulled up a bit. So we want to slide it instead. I'm going to press Control z And you can see if I hit G two times and slide, it'll stay in line with the shape of the object. So I'm going to hit G two times and slide this down a bit. And I will go ahead and grab the x-axis and pull this out a bit. I may have to do some adjusting. In fact, why don't we press Control alt q and take a look at it from here. I'm going to tumble around, and let's take a look at it from the side, the front, and the top here. All right, so we've got the basic shape down here. Let's grab this point and hit G two times, and I'll slide that out to there. And let's do the same up here. Slide that out. So we're just basically getting that shape. And I'll hit G and slide this one out just a bit as well. Well, I'll maybe move it a little bit over in the x-axis like that. All right, so we have that basic shape in the geometry. And I'm pretty sure that vent goes all the way to the back of the hood. In fact, we should take a look at that. Let's bring in a couple of reference images to confirm that that's what it is. I'm gonna come over here and hover over this corner and click and drag down to create a new window. And then let's, uh, well, let's do that one more time. I'm gonna hover and click and drag down here like that. Now I can grab this and let me just move this out so we can see this a little bit better. And then I'm gonna change this window from a properties window to an image editor. And then let's click image and open. And now we can browse to the reference images folder. And I've got some photos in here that we can take a look at. Yeah, if we open this up, let me uh, bring this in. It really does look like it goes all the way to the end there now, doesn't it? To make this full screen, I want to press Control and Spacebar. And then let's take a look at it here. Yeah, it looks like it goes pretty far back. Maybe not all the way, but pretty far. So I think the way we have it is probably good. I'll press control spacebar to minimize that window again. And now let's go ahead and extrude this up. So I think I'll press control alt Q again to get out of the quad view and then alt Z to go back to solid view. And now what let's do is let's hit the three key and choose these faces here, maybe even this one too. And let's extrude this up. If I hit E and pull this up some like this, let's see how this works. Now you can see that of course, the smoothing is trying to round out the corners here. If we hit the tab key to go to object mode, this is what we have. So that's not exactly what we want, right? Tab back into edit mode. So we're gonna have to add some edge loops to try and control that shape. First of all, I think what I wanna do is go back here and we want to collapse these down. So I'm going to hit the one key and let's take this point and this point and let's merge these together. I'll hit the M key and choose at last and that merges those points together. Now 
here, there's a point in here. We can see it if we press Alt Z, or we can come over and turn off the real time subdivision display if we want to. Let me twirl this up. And if we turn this off here, now we can see that. So let's select this point and this point, hit M and choose at last. All right, so we've collapsed those down the way it kind of connects there in the back. Now let's go to the side view and do some adjusting here. I'll press Alt Z. I've got the select box chosen over here so I can just click and drag the points here. Let's do that and let's bring this down. Maybe let's take this one and bring this one down and this one here. And then maybe I'll bring these up just a little bit like this. So I really want it just to kind of barely slant up and then down a bit to the back of the hood like that. All right, let's see how that looks. Okay, now if we turn our subdivision display back on, that's what we have so far. So where should we put the edge loops to kind of tighten this up? I feel like we should first move these down a bit. Let me uh, hit G two times and move this down just a little bit and G two times and move this down just a bit. So it isn't quite at an angle like that. I could take this one and move this over, hit G twice and slide that over a bit like that. All right, now let's hit Control R and let's add an edge loop in here and bring it up so it's kind of tight here. And then let's also do that along here. What I first need to do is take all of these, I think, and just slide these away so we have some room there. Hit G two times and slide that up a bit. Maybe like that. And then uh, let's also press Control R and add one in here. And we could add one out here as well. There we go. Maybe this one could come in a bit. Let me hit G again two times and slide that in like that. And then we should extrude this in so we get that little hole there. So let's hit the three key, choose this face and this face. And then let's inset this. Instead of extruding with the E key, let's use inset. And to do that, we can press the I key. I'll press I and then I'll push in a bit and look how it, they split apart. So we don't want that. But if you look up at the top of the 3D view, you can see a whole lot of words up here and you can see boundary here, the B key. So if I have this like this, and before I click, I press the B key to turn off the boundary. Now I have it like that, and that's more what we want. So I'm gonna take this and click here. Now that's looking pretty good. That's looking a little bit better. Let's now extrude that in. I'll hit E and push in a bit. There we go. So we're getting a little bit more like this, but we've got problems down here now, don't we? So I'm gonna turn off the subdivision display once again right here. And what I need to do is collapse these here as well, because we don't want this rim. It, it doesn't have a rim on the bottom of it. So I'll hit the one key and I'm gonna take this and this and hit the M key and choose to merge them at the last vertex selected. So I'll click that here and here, M at last. And this one, if I merge it with this, we'll get a triangle and we won't keep that edge there. So what we really need to do is create a new edge right in here that we can connect it up with. And I think the knife tool would be good to use with that. For the knife tool, we just press K. So we can press K, hover over this edge and click, hover over this edge, click. And I'm gonna hover over this one, click, move that out and hit enter, and there we go. Now we can collapse this and this, M and at last, all right. And then let's uh, turn our subdivision display back on. Okay, so that's cleaned up the bottom there just a bit. We really need to take this edge, I think, right here and just move it in a bit. Let's just slide this one in, hit G two times, and slide that in a bit, and that'll bend that in. That's pretty good. Let's take this one and hit G two times and slide that in. Yeah, we're getting there. Okay, 
And even though this is really thin, I'd like just a little bit more of an edge on this. And I think we can do that with edge crease. Let's take a look. If I hit the two key to go to edge mode, I'm just gonna select this edge, this edge, and this edge. Let's try this. I'm gonna bring up the edges menu. You can come up here to edge, and you can see edge crease here, or shift E. So I'm gonna press shift E. I'm gonna move the mouse just a bit. And that gives us a little bit more of an edge down there. Something like that. And then let's try this one here. Click this edge, this edge, and this edge. And let's try this one. Shift E. And there we go. Now we're getting a little bit more of an edge there. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Let's tab back into object mode. And we're looking pretty good. We've got a little bit of an artifact right at the base of the vent there. We may be able to press Control R and slide this in and clean that up just a little bit like that. Tab back into object mode. Yeah, I think that's looking actually pretty good. We may want to shrink that face up inside here. Let me turn off the subdivision here. So this face and this face, we may want to shrink these up a bit. If we hit the S key, we can scale those in, maybe bring it down a bit, and even extrude back a little bit more, I think. E, bring those back, and then hit the S key and scale in just a bit. Let's see how that works. Turn the subdivisions back on. And yeah, we're getting there. So now what we can do is use that smoothing mesh to try and fix any artifacts or problems that we might have here. And what I mean by that is if we uh, change our mat cap here, you can see now where we've inserted these edge loops. You can see right here and right here. We've got edges that are so close together, they're beginning to cause artifacts in the reflections. Let me come up here and go to the other mat cap here. And here you can see them as well. You can just barely see that there and barely see that there. So as the reflections happen, you're going to see that in the body of the car. So we don't want those. We're going to need to try and eliminate those. And that's what this smoothing mesh is going to be for. So in the next video, we will use the shrink wrap tool and our smoothing mesh to see if we can clean this up a bit.